So we're starting this uh, video off a bit differently. As you can see, we're getting a massage done from uh, my man Lee. Do you want to tell him about yourself here or we're good? You go for it, mate. Well, okay, I'm just going solo. <laughs> so obviously, we're going to have a bit of work done. As you can tell, with bodybuilding, everything gets a bit stiff. So we're just having some, uh, some work done through mainly the posterior chain because I've been training hard since I've, uh, contrary to believe, I've been training hard since I've been here. Um, so yeah, obviously plan of action today is get this done, go meet Perrin, who's the Stephen Physique Academy coach, get some shots with him for some future content for like posters, etc, etc. And then train legs. Bit of news actually, Joe's, I forgot to, I haven't had time to tell you this, he told me this morning, but Joe's come down with appendicitis. So Joe was meant to join us, but he's been in the hospital this morning. So it's a solo one today. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it to be fair today. But yeah, basically, nice short, swat, sweet one today. We are 16 weeks out. So stuff's gonna get real as of tomorrow. Joe's gonna be landing with the new program, who I'll be seeing on Friday as well of this week. So yeah, everything's uh, ramping up now. 16 weeks out, starting to feel it, starting to get a bit leaner. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the content. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, I actually don't know what you're doing. Like, you're fucking about because a lot of you, I think like 45% of you guys aren't subscribed. So you need to do that because we've got loads of content coming. Ed's going to be behind the camera. He goes off away to, to Crete, lucky boy, with the missus. So he's going to be away for a while, but he's going to come back later on this month and we'll do some more work with, um, with another online coach. And that's it, really. So just enjoy. We'll get a bit of, bit of, bit of footage from them. That's fucking that's tight, Jesus. It is, mate. Tighter than another. Now. We'll okay, get yeah, mate, I'm fucked here. I haven't had any work done for ages, mate. This is struggling <laughs> below. Fuck. <laughs> but yeah. We'll That's about it. Up, we'll get we'll get um get a few bits of me and then the next time we catch us we'll be in the car on the way to the gym, alright? Slowing this adductor machine down. Now, your adductor is quite a relatively small muscle group in comparison to the rest of your leg. So you don't really need to be putting an extensive amount of load through it. You wanna be making sure, similar to how I treat my biceps and my tricep, you wanna make sure that you're keeping the time under tension, but working the muscle throughout the entire range of movement. Like you can't, you can't stimulate the adductor by just trying to load it and just could go from point A to point B. You get away with it with bigger muscles because other muscles will take over just to make sure the movement's complete, but that's not really gonna happen with your adductors. So make sure you're putting the putting the, the, the pressure through the heel here, which is the, the furthest, the, the most distal point away from the adductor. Now, when you put the pressure through the most distal point away from the muscle, you're creating the longest lever, so then your muscle has to work further. All right, so keep it nice and simple. So this is the thing with machines where I want to add like machines are designed that the, the literal integral design of a machine is to make sure you're isolating a movement. So when you're trying to stack a bunch of fucking weight on isolating a movement, guess what? You're probably nine times out of 10 going to end up activating something else. You know, and I, I've got a notorious reputation here for not lifting heavy weight, but unfortunately what I'm doing with my muscle is growing it and it's also stimulating it enough. So I must be doing something right. Let's put it that way. Three plates there, and I think I'm not even done 12 reps, and my fucking adductors are on fire. Fuck me. 
Last set, best set, baby. Let's go. anyone manages to do 10 plates or even five plates on that beyond me beyond me it's actually beyond me my brain does not comprehend the equation in my fucking brain bloody hell <laughs> oh god oh man that feels hard that feels hard right one thing I want to say is I see this happen a lot, right? Different tempo for warm-ups, right? What you're trying to do is you're trying to prepare the muscle to go into your working set so it doesn't actually make any sense whatsoever to do a quicker tempo or a slower tempo when you're warming up. A lot of people can do that and they fall into the trap of either doing it too quick or too slow because of the load. You wanna try and make sure you're mimicking the exact same outcome that you're trying to achieve when you're doing your working set. So if you're doing three seconds down, one second pause, one second up, you need to be doing that in your warm-up sets because you're trying to familiarize your muscle into the environment that's gonna be in the working set. So don't do it too slow, don't do it too fast, do it just right. To pre fatigue the muscle, put the cookie down. Uh, so, moving on to leg press now. Now, very good way of going into a leg press is pre fatiguing the muscles around us. So, obviously, we've done three sets of adductors. Straight away, my quads are having to do more work in this exercise because my adductors are, are going to be less of a stabilizing and less of a synergist muscle within the movement because they're pre fatigued. So, anytime that you're focusing on a compound within a specific muscle group, always think about the muscles around that muscle pre-fatigue them so then when you move on to that specific movement you're going to work that targeted muscle group a lot more oh i'm actually on fire today <laughs> in there locked in oh that looks good that was good that was good that was good ow, ow, ow. that was very good ow. ah no man fuck i'm just gonna chill here for a bit Oh, 
Right, one thing I want to say is when you're going on to isolation movements such as the leg extension, setting up the machine for your bio biomechanical profile is really important because if you're one peg down or one peg up, you're misaligning your body. All right, so you want to make sure that once everything's aligned, then you can focus on the isolation of that movement. If, you, if, you're, if you're slightly too high, slightly too low, you're going to bring, bring in other muscle groups into play. And with an isolation movement, guess what? Bringing other muscle groups into play is not the best idea. So always make sure, it doesn't matter how long it takes, it doesn't matter about the pressure in a gym, take time to set your machine up for your body, okay? Oh, I'm actually on fire today. <laughs> wow. Leg extension, so just aim it to finish off the quad now. Get a nice pump. Yeah. I need to shave my leg, man. But we're gonna go upstairs after this anyway. And uh, go for a physique update. Because I know you guys haven't had that for a while, so. Uh, 15 and a half weeks out, baby. Why? So that is the session done. So the reason why I only did quads today and the doctors is because we obviously had the massage that we seen earlier. It went very heavy, went to town on the glutes and the hamstrings and the calves. So it's not a good idea to obviously tear the muscle there with massage and then obviously go to the gym and train it. So we've left them out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the session. A few sets of uh, doctors, three sets of leg press, and four sets of leg extension. Legs are, as you can see, pretty pumped. But we're gonna go through a physique update now, so give you guys an understanding of where I am at. So 15 and a half weeks out of the time of recording. By the time the video gets released, I won't be 15 and a half weeks out, but by the time we're recording, I will be. So I said you've got four months to bring it, you know, obviously not looking in a bad position now, but we know what level we need to bring. So we're just gonna show you what the physique is looking like now. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, 15 and a half weeks to improve it. Guys, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know. Oh, this strap, by the way. Um, just want to shout out the sponsors for today's video. Uh, straps of London. And if you aren't sure where this strap is from, it's from Straps of London. And basically, they've sent me one out. And uh, they've kindly sponsored today's video. Now, I'm joking. They haven't sponsored today's video. But they have sent me out a uh, strap. And basically, I just want to run you through exactly how easy it is to set up. So you're basically going to get given a link remover here. Okay? You basically just remove the links from here to your wrist size, and then you just literally slide it on and off with your wrist here. So see how easy this is? Gosh, it just slides on and off, okay? There's obviously adjustable, yeah? Nice and easy, and on top of that, so <laughs> what you can do, guys, is use my discount code as well. So Physique is gonna get you 15% off. Now, I'm not being funny here, but I would rather look swanky in one of these than your, your average basic 
Apple Watch strap. So yeah, head over to Straps of London, use my code physique, that's gonna get you 15% off. And there's a lot of different colors, a lot of different, um, this is the Jubilee strap. So these are both Jubilee straps, okay? And they are dapper to be fair. Look, that looks like a rolly, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Rolly, rolly, rolly. So yeah, if you have any, uh, if you have any questions, the link is in the description below. And uh, yeah, shout out Straps of London. Okay, so now I've uh, plugged the sponsors for today's post. It's time to wrap up the video. So obviously, we are 15 weeks out. You have seen the physique, you have seen me train, you have seen me get a massage. I'd say it's a pretty good day in the life. Obviously, today is uh, Live and Laugh episode four. So we're four episodes in, man. I want you to leave a comment on the four episodes you've seen so far. And if you haven't watched any of the other episodes, go and watch them, because they're on my YouTube channel. I would personally recommend the full day of eating because then you can get a real insight into what I eat on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we will be doing another one uh, because obviously the diet, by the time Ed comes back, will be, will be updated the diet. So we'll do that as well. That'll be the next one. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because we have, I say this all the time and I'm literally sounding like a broken record, but we have so much content coming your way. Like with, we're pretty much 16 weeks out. I want to be releasing a video every other two weeks now minimum and then obviously the last week the last month of the show we're going to be doing one every single week so stay tuned follow the journey and uh it's going to be really exciting you know so like the video subscribe peace out motherfuckers